Will we scream for store brand ice cream? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Take a stroll down the ice cream aisle and more so than in other aisles, it becomes immediately apparent the number of generic options, pretty expansive. There's a mm -hmm. non-name brand version of all the best flavors and they're right there in your face and the price differences are two. Yeah, so you're being tempted by ice cream but then you're being doubly tempted to save a few bucks by buying the cheaper generic brands because they're, like you said, they're right there. So today, we want to find out if the name brands truly do stand out. It's time for Knock Off Knockout Ice Cream Edition. It's real simple. We're gonna be presented with several different rounds of ice cream. There's gonna be three that are non-name brand and then one that is the name brand. Yeah, we're gonna be competing to try and correctly identify which one is the name brand ice cream and the loser is gonna have to do whatever the winner wants for a Klondike bar. A Klondike bar? Yeah. They got duck in Klondike now? <laughs> Klondike bar. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the cream. First up, we have the runner up of this year's Take It To The Scoop <laughs> ice cream tournament. Chocolate peanut butter ice cream, specifically Hagen dazs mm. brand. So which one is Hagen dazs and which are Hagen dazs Let's start down here. We really love, well, this is hard. Eat this start hard. hard. Man, that's harder than I thought. No, no, I hardly have any. That is a deep, darkness of chocolate. It almost tastes like dark chocolate, doesn't it? But I got a little peanut butter ribbon and it's good. I didn't get a peanut butter ribbon, but I see it right remember there. Remember it had those giant peanut butter ribbons? I don't like the taste of that first one. Oh, but I can I can what? feel the ribbon. Get, get a ribbon, get a ribbon, there. get a ribbon, friend. Now this one is much lighter chocolate. Mm. That one's that tastes a lot better. That one's worlds better than the first one. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. All right, let's go here. You see a ribbon here? Yep, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, hold, on. oh hold on. I see other things too. There's there's some, there's some there's chocolate. A chunk. I don't remember chocolate chunks. They stuck a brownie chunk in. I'm but not the, complaining about it. I like brownie. But the chocolate ice cream. Not as good as that. Yeah, it's not as good as the first Oh, this is softy. This is, this is a softy. And this one, look, this one's got other things. It's got some sort of um, peanut butter pellet. So it's not ribbons, it's pellets. I'm a pellet man. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you mean you're a pellet? What does that even mean, I'm a it pellet means, man? <laughs> you know, back when you got, had a BB gun, but you could also get pellets for it, and you, and you, could, you, you loaded them in there, and they were different than the BBs. You couldn't shake it. This is the second best tasting ice cream. The pellets pack a punch even if you do feel like you're eating uh, rabbit turds. You guys think you're ready to guess? There's gonna be more ice cream. Oh, good. Yeah, probably a lot, right? You mean this isn't all the ice cream? Yeah. There's, there's oh, you more? mean we're doing a show? We're yeah, not ice it's cream? true. Okay, yeah. stab the haagen in three, two, one. I mean, if it's not this. Th this is clearly the best tasting one. Yeah, you guys had to get this one, right? The yeah. haagen is in bowl number two. So much better. The yeah. others are Archer Farms from Target. Not great at Bad. All. Signature Select from Safeway slash Vons. It's all right. And Private Selection from Kroger. Kroger does it, Kroger man. They always it. do it. I mean, Kroger put, putting some pellets in it. Ice cream Sammy time. Which of these is Blue Bunny brand and which are just red herrings? Uh, we're starting off with a thicky. That's a thicky, a stubby. Yeah, it's shorter and wider. I don't know what a Blue Bunny Ice cream sandwich is shaped like. So I don't know that this is not it. That's good. It's just good. I, I think There's the, I, the ice cream is very fluffy. There might We might discover a fake quality once we start diving into some of these. Uh, now we're to the long slender. If we weren't watching you eat these right now, is that how you guys would eat an ice cream sandwich? Or do you have like a, a way? I probably would eat half of it in one bite. But... Um, <laughs> This is how I, I, I know eat. that there's more ice cream coming because you told me there was. Honestly, this one, I'm not gonna say it tastes bad. It's not as good as the first one. But it's as close. It it it's almost bad. It's not. It's you know what? It's bad. It's just is. It's just is. This one, same exact dimensions. It tastes almost like nothing. Like it's good, but it tastes like nothing. Like it doesn't have an aftertaste. Like they figured out how to not have to aftertaste. It's better aftertaste. than it's better than bad, but it's literally a tasteless ice cream sandwich. No, 
Well, ta- it no. tastes. It tastes like an ice cream sandwich. It's like, is, are you talking to whales all of a sudden? <laughs> no. no. It tastes like an ice cream sandwich. It just doesn't taste like much of one. There's a hmm, there's a form factor difference on these. Look at, the, look at the cross section. That's nice. I was hoping that Link, you had a weird way to eat an ice cream sandwich because I think I have a little bit of a weird way, and I just thought that you what, would you like, it like this. Kind of like that. Like I like to eat the ice cream and then have a little bit of the cookie in a different way. It's stupid. I don't, I never eat ice cream sandwiches. Me neither. Just, I, yeah. I don't like them. I don't eat them on but the show. But the only thing I like about them is that it's the only way I can bite ice cream. Stab the blue bunny in three, two, one. I think it's the one that tastes like nothing. What? I don't know. The blue bunny ice cream sandwich is on plate number one. Oh, dang. We, the, just, we, we went away from these because they were different. Yeah, it's it's... It's fluffy and it's different, but this, it was. there's a life lesson here, guys. Well, what's this nasty? The others are signature select from Safeway Vons, great value from Walmart, eh, was pretty and three six five organic from it's Whole Foods. Good. It's also good, but Blue Bunny they shorten it up, huh? Oh. Hey, quick reminder: be sure to take advantage of our Black Friday sale going on now at Mythical.com throughout this entire weekend. Take up to forty percent off store wide. No discount codes required. Check it out, Mythical.com. Okay, next up we have Rainbow Sherbet. So I guess we're just calling everything that gets frozen ice cream now. I mean, sherbet is not ice cream. Sherbet is the step family you never asked for, but have to be polite around of the ice cream world. This is not ice cream. This is a frozen scoop of shame. And I don't care what you think. It will never be ice cream. And to be honest, I don't know how any of you sleep at night. I'm done. Our job is to find the Baskin Robbins sherbet. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm going to get a little pink. I'm going to get a little green. I'm going to get a little orange. I calm down a little. I mean, it is, it is pretty. <laughs> yeah, and it's 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 a nice change of pace. It is pretty. Nothing to complain about in bold number. Oh no, the mixing that's done here seems to be much more random in bold number two. Uh, bold number one is more of like a striped situation. Mm. A lot stronger, but almost like a chemical taste. I, I I like it a little bit better. It's not as smooth. It's more icy. This what? doesn't have green. What happened? It's, they have white instead of green. Oh, so fruity. So fruity. It's like really bad kid's toothpaste. I like that one. It's very, what is the white flavor? I can't tell, but it's. Man, these are so you, drastically you, different. You like that one the most? This is more about preference than about quality, I feel like. Lots of green over here. I mean, there's something to like about each one, I guess. Mm. One of them stands out as being an upper echelon. And I don't want to say which one because I'm I'm ready to vote. That's the one I'm voting for, so. Okay. Three. I think it is a, it's a dramatic quality improvement in my mind. All right. Two. One. All the way up. Oh, okay. I think it's that, the one without green. That, that's just strange. Baskin Robbins is in bowl number three. Yeah. Oh. The what others are, are doing? Kroger, great value from Not Walmart. Bad. Not bad. I and like Signature Ch- Select from Safeway. Vaughan. Oh, you like the Safeway this time. That's interesting. I mean, it's interesting. I think I just remember that there wasn't green in the Baskin Robbins uh, sherbet. I think it's from like my childhood. Now we have a cone, a scoop, a coating, and a bunch of nuts. But we have to find the Nestle drumstick cone. I couldn't say drumstick to start because I think that's a Nestle thing. Uh, We know that we like the drumstick because it won best uh, ice cream truck treat. But boy, they really match the form factor. There are some differences in the cones, though. The one I have in my right hand, the first one. The, the lighter check and, on the cone is tighter. It's a tight. It's lighter and tighter. Tight and this, this one is the darkest, number three. And then this one starts to look a little green. All right, we're going to have to just taste them. I'm not learning anything by e- looking at them. I think those nuts are the darkest. Yeah. Well, hmm. I don't know why I started on number two. The nuts are a little bitter. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Number two is good. How's number one? 
Not as good as number two. The ice cream in number one is very white. Ice cream in number two is yellow. A little bit yellow. And tastes better. It is better. Two is better than one. Wow. That's really This good. ice cream is as white as number one. But it tastes better than number one. Hmm. And then number four. That's a yellowy ice cream too. What if we just went out to an ice cream truck? It tastes good. We started doing this in front of the guy. <sighs> okay. I'm stumped. Here we go. And I got narrowed down. Three, two, one. I think it's either two or three is where I ended up, but <clears throat> I couldn't couldn't decipher. Nestle drumstick is on plate number. One. One? Oh, we one. said that one wasn't good. See, so, once you said it wasn't good, I just fell for it. The others are a great value from Walmart, Signature Select from Safeway Vons, and First Street from Smart and Final. They're, they're, they're all good. They're all good except for the Nestle. <laughs> and finally, we have the most ice cream of all ice creams, good old classic vanilla. Yeah. Uh, but is finding the name brand gonna be plain and simple? Ha <laughs> ha, we gotta find Dryer's Vanilla Ice Cream, or Edie's, or Eddie's, Edie's? If you're on the East Coast, you know who you are. Very vanilla extracty. None of these have like a vanilla bean in them that you yep, can see, they you just know? Went, they just went straight up. It's just like mm-hmm. eating plaster, but it tastes like ice cream. It doesn't taste bad, but it tastes manipulated. Manipulated? First one tastes better. <clears throat> Oh, this one is th- That's creamy. dramatically creamier. It, it's too much, too much vanilla. Is that even possible? I think that the vanilla makes it taste manipulated. And then, I like my ice cream to be never manipulated. Like no one has ever done anything to it, except just made it ice cream. I think this is cheaper. Okay. I got a guess. Oh man. I don't have a lot of confidence in it, but I got a guess. Here we go in three, two, one. Ow! Oh, God, God, why did you do that? Why'd you let me do that? It's not bleeding, but it suddenly punctured. Man, you came in so hard, and I was going this way. Why are you going? Why are you going forward? You're not. I was going like this. Like, I, went, I didn't know I you were like going to come this, in man. so hard, man. I went like never point your and look. That, even when I do this and recreate it, you went in the exact same spot. You touched the same spot. With Is the it point. okay? Hey, yeah, put it in some ice cream. If I win, you're going to have to kiss it. <laughs> well, it, it's I one hope, of those, at least I hope you're right. You know how a puncture wound, like, there's a delay before it starts gushing blood? I think by Good Mythical More, I think there's like need some, a bandage. There might be some wood lodged in there that's going to push its way out. I mean, look. Look, look, <laughs> at, the, look at the hole. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, man. All right, can we redeem this by giving me this? Stevie, let's see. Let's see if we can. The dryer slash Edie's vanilla ice cream is in bowl number four. <laughs> oh, well, the others get it. are Market Pantry from Target, Great Value from Walmart, uh-uh. and Kirkland Signature from Costco. Huh. Okay. Huh. Not a great performance today, but I did get just enough to squeeze out the win. And I injured Link in the process. So, I mean, we're all winners. Starting to bleed a little bit now. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Michaela. And I'm Aaron. And we're from Bloomington, Indiana. And we're about to have an ice cream taste test. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. You're in for a good time. Do it. Click the top link to watch us react to ice cream scandals in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Hey, check out our Black Friday sale with exclusive items and up to 40% off store wide at mythical.com.